Hello YouTube friends and welcome back to Cruise Man's Motor Vlog for part two of my Honda CL360 restoration story. I wish I could tell you that my CL360, my 1975 CL360 was still sitting comfortably in my garage. Unfortunately, I can't tell you that. So now let's, as Paul Harvey would say, get the rest of the story. Well, after I completed the restoration on this 360, I really, really enjoyed it. I would ride it, occasionally I would ride it for coffee in the morning. I would, uh, I actually rode it in a vintage uh, motorcycle ride that one of the local uh, restoration guys puts on here and took it out and we rode all through the local countryside which was kind of fun and the bike just ran great it was reliable it always started it always ran good it got decent mileage you know it just you know it was just a beautiful bike everybody that saw it commented on it but at this time i had a 2010 kawasaki versus i had my gold wing and I had my uh, Trail 70, so I was, I had four motorcycles. And it was just too much. I just really couldn't justify keeping all these bikes. And I was really afraid that something was going to happen to this 360. Maybe I'd drop it or who knows what could happen. And I remember what a hard time I had finding parts for it and I was just afraid that something was going to go wrong or something was going to break and it would cost me a lot of money to fix it plus a lot of time and so I made the executive decision to try to sell it and I did that or attempted to do that on eBay I listed the bike now you got to remember, I had put stupid money into this bike. So I listed the bike on eBay and I found a buyer, a gentleman that lived in Florida and he contacted me by email and I think I even talked to him on the phone. So what he wanted to do was to send his, as he referred to his driver, from Florida to pick up the bike and bring the cash and the driver apparently was on his way to Seattle to pick up a hot rod that this guy had bought because he was a collector and he collected vintage cars and hot rods and so a few days later this guy shows up in a van and real nice guy and turns to turns out he's kind of like the guy's chauffeur drives his motor home drives his cars and drives them around and come to find out the uh, gentleman who bought the bike was a uh, he was retired he had owned a couple of kenworth uh, dealerships in florida near orlando and i guess he had sold them and was now retired and apparently was building a cafe and this cafe was going to be a motorcycle themed cafe and he wanted my bike to put on display in this cafe so i was kind of honored by that and we loaded up the bike and he went on his way he paid me and he went on his way and then a few days later, or a week or two later, I got an email from the gentleman who bought the bike. And he told me how beautiful it was. And he had it on display in the foyer of his home. He had actually pulled the bike inside and sent me a picture. And it was just uh, really cool. I contacted him a couple of years after that to see if he might be interested in selling the bike back to me because I, I really missed it. I'd gotten rid of my 
versus so I was down to two motorcycles just the Trail 70 and the Goldwing and he replied and said he just he loved the bike he just didn't want to sell it and I want to stop here and ask you that if you like these moto vlogs if you like my live broadcasts if you like my how-to videos please take a second to click that subscribe button down below and click on the little bell icon and YouTube will notify you when I put up a new video. But as I said, the story has an unhappy ending. Two or three years ago, I got an email from this gentleman and the motorcycle was stored in a storage unit with his other vehicles and his motorhome. In fact, I think he said he had two motorhomes. And this storage unit, I think the motorhome caught on fire. Well, that set the whole unit on fire and it burned everything inside this storage unit. And the motorcycle was pretty much total. And I was devastated. And he was too. Of course, he lost everything. He lost all his other vehicles. But the bike looked like it was pretty much beyond any repair. I offered to have him send me the bike and that I would try to restore it, even though I don't think I'd ever be able to find the parts that I had on that bike again. And um, as you can see, the bike was just there was almost nothing left. Burned the tires off, burned the paint, melted the gauges, everything. They just a wreck. So it was a sad day when I got that email from him. And he wasn't interested in having me uh, restore the bike. He was going through the process of having insurance uh, evaluate everything. And I haven't heard anything from him since. So I'm assuming he totaled it, and got rid of it. I don't know what he did with it. So that's the story of the CL360. I still have the memories of the work I put into it, and what a beautiful bike it was, and the brief time that I had to enjoy it before I sold it. And I'm sure he enjoyed it while he had it as well. So you just never know what's going to happen. So that's all for now. Until next time on Cruise Man's Motovlog.